Hi, uh, my name is Caleb. Uh, myself and Mauricio uh, did financial analysis comparing uh, Dollar Tree and Dollar General. Both firms um, are discount retailers that focus primarily on selling daily consumable goods. Uh, and this is our analysis. So first question is who are our shareholders? Uh, the analysis of the major holders and st uh, stock statistics of both Dollar General and Dollar Tree um, share uh, show basically the same thing, that both firms are primarily held by the major institutional investors, 91% um, of Dollar General and 87% of Dollar Tree um, are held by the major mutual funds and institutional investors. Uh, most notable is the Vanguard Group, um, is the biggest holder of Dollar Tree um, and the second holder of Dollar General. Um, other institutions that have major holdings include BlackRock, State Street, and FMR. Um, it's very interesting to see that uh, these major institutional investors and firms um, hold uh, interest in both companies. Um, they're very similar and direct competitors, uh, so it's further evidence that uh, there's just a few major firms that hold uh, most of the shares of corporate America. Why do investors care about capital structure? Capital structure is the strategy of, of how companies finance their operations. It takes into account how much percentage of both equity and debt is required to keep the cost of capital to a minimum. Debt would come in a form of issuing long-term payable notes or issuing bonds. Equity would be the common, um, common stocks or common preferred share of stocks. The advantage of taking on debt would be that creditors do not take the equity in your company. So it does not dilute the ownership of the interest of the company. Another advantage is lenders are only authorized to the principal amount of the loan and some interest, but not future cash flows of the company. Interest on debt is tax, deduct tax deductible, also lowering the actual cost of the cost of debt. Some of the disadvantages of debt would be is that debt must be paid. So regardless, you have to take into account every month how much you're gonna pay for that, so you have to have incoming cash flows at all times. Um, the higher the debt equity ratio is, the riskier the company is to um, invest. So some of the factors of taking up debt uh, will include tax rate, the ability to pay interest, and the variance of operating income. So the tax rate, um, when the company is in a higher tax bracket, more opportunity they will have by using the debt financing. The higher the tax rate, the higher the optimal debt will be, which will cost higher savings and tax deduction. Both Dollar General and Dollar Tree are both in the tax bracket of 37% for 2016. Um, the ability to pay interest, which comes in a coverage ratio, which is used to determine how certainly the company is um, to be able to pay the interest expense. The industry average is 27.4 and Dollar General is currently at 22.31, which was down uh, 0.92 from previous years. Uh, Dollar Tree is currently at 5.2. Um, which is up from 2.09 from the previous year, but overall Dollar General has a lot less debt financing uh, than Dollar Tree, so they'll be able to cover a little bit more debt. Variance in operations is a change in operating income reflecting on the beta. Um, the higher the change, the higher the beta will go, which will uh, ultimately affect the bond ratings, which will be uh, more expensive for the debt financing. So our third question was, what is our cost of debt financing? So a company's debt financing refers to how much it costs the company uh, to use debt, such as loans or bonds, uh, to fund its operating activities. Uh, cost of debt also factors in a company's tax rate, as well as the risk-free interest rate. Um, so we found uh, that Dollar General's uh, cost of debt is about 2.52%, and Dollar Tree's uh, rate is about 3.40%. So for our cost of equity, um, we use the CAP model. Uh, the CAP model uh, requires the risk-free rate, the beta, and the market risk premium. For the risk-free rate, usually the ten US 10-year treasury stock bond is used uh, to get the rate since it's pretty much risk-free. Uh, for the beta, we use the five-year regression analysis uh, for each company, and we compared it against the S&P 500 to get our beta. For the market risk premium, it's a premium rate, which is, um, a rate over the market to incentive investors to invest. So for Dollar General, uh, our cost of equity was 4.9% and for Dollar Tree it was 3.5%. Uh, our next question was, uh, what is our cost of capital? 
So we took information from the annual report from both the Dollar General and Dollar Tree to come up with the market value of debt, market value of equity, as well as debt ratio, equity ratio, and the cost of debt and cost of equity, which we previously explained. Um, and we used all of those to come up with the weighted average cost of capital, uh, which for Dollar General was about 3.53%, and Dollar Tree came out to be about 3.44%. Could we lower this by changing our capital structure? Uh, we took a look at Dollar General debt to equity ratio and we raised it about 5% to an optimal 40%. This 40% um, gave our overall weighted average cost of capital a decrease of 0.31, uh, which affected our market price per share by about $1.59. Um, how did this affect our company? By, rating, by hiring the debt to equity ratio, we slightly hired the beta which gave our cost of debt a little bit higher by about 2%, uh, but overall added the value to our investors for $1.59 per share. Would more debt create unnecessary risk? Well, the advantage of debt is that creditors do not take equity of your company, so it does not dilute the ownership interest of the company. Um, also, and another advantage is that uh, interest on the debt is tax deductible, so that is an advantage. Um, disadvantage of debt is that debt must be paid and the higher debt equity ratio, uh, the higher it is, the riskier uh, the company is to investors. Um, so while debt um, can impact the company's current ratio and increase liabilities, um, the increase in debt uh, gives the company greater leverage and also can provide a tax incentive. Uh, so it would not necessarily create unnecessary risk. What does the competition do? So we decided to compare Dollar General and Dollar Tree to Ross and TJ Maxx. Uh, those two are also discount retailers, um, but they mostly focus on selling discount clothing and other household goods. Um, but for this example, we decided to compare them. Um, so though they're not direct competitors, um, it still provides an interesting uh, comparison. Uh, a stark difference is seen in the amount of cash held um, by Dollar General and Dollar Tree. Dollar General only has about 3% of its assets in cash, uh, which is very low. Uh, both Ross and TJ Maxx were significantly higher um, in this area. Another major difference um, is in current liabilities help. Dollar General and Dollar Tree both have relatively low current liabilities, under 20%, whereas Ross and TJ Maxx have between 35 and 43% uh, of their total liabil liabilities held in uh, current liabilities. Um, as a result, these firms have very low amount of long-term liabilities. Strangely, Dollar Tree has over 52% of its debt in uh, long-term liabilities, um, which is strange compared to um, Dollar General because they were much lower. <coughs> is our stock price fairly valued? Uh, we use two different valuation models to value uh, the two stocks for Dollar General. Uh, we use the dividend discount model, uh, and we found that the value um, should be around 78.43. Um, the stock is currently trading around $75. Uh, for Dollar Tree, we used the earnings multiple valuation model, um, and that gave us um, a value of 76.74, um, which and the stock is currently trading at 76.66. Um, so both both of these valuations show that um, the companies are valued very close to the market price. Uh, so we believe that the stocks are fairly valued, uh, and this concludes our uh, analysis of Dollar General and Dollar Tree, and we thank you.